Now to another storm, one that's engulfed Parliament Hill. After spending the night in jail, Senator Patrick Brazo is now charged with sexual assault. He still has his job, but some, even in his former Conservative caucus, are calling for his resignation. Lori Graham has that tonight from Ottawa. Lori. Wendy, it's a dramatic fall from grace. Patrick Brazo was the youngest senator ever appointed, but now he faces criminal charges and has all but been suspended from the Red Chamber. Senator Patrick Brazo normally loves the spotlight. Not today. Police shielded him from the cameras. He didn't answer a single question. Instead, the 38 year old senator quickly left the courthouse after spending the night in jail and an appearance before a judge. He will be facing charges of uh, uh, assault in a domestic violence and also a sexual assault. Brazo was arrested yesterday after police were called to this house in Gatineau across the Ottawa River from Parliament Hill. Hello again from the Senate Chamber in the Parliament of Canada. Now the self-promoting senator, who on his own website posted this grandiose walk through the Red Chamber, had to pay $1,000 to get out of jail. We'll have to uh, keep the peace and be of good behavior, uh, not to communicate and uh, with the victim. Brazo has agreed to live on this reserve at his father's house an hour outside of Ottawa. But the man who never shied from the public eye and who once lectured Aboriginal people about their behavior... It's about accountability, transparency and responsibility, and above all, morality. ...was nowhere to be found today, and no one seemed anxious to welcome him home. He shouldn't be sitting in the Senate, and I, he's not a good person. He's supposed to represent KZ, he's supposed to be part of uh, our people, and for, uh, you know, the, uh, domestic uh, assault or something, it's pretty heavy. That's one way to put it. Some colleagues on Parliament Hill want him gone. If the allegations are true, I'd call on Senator Brazo to resign. The Senate can't force Brazo to resign, but the Speaker will place him on a forced leave of absence with pay while his case is before the courts. Brazo did not enter a plea today, Wendy. He'll do that in March when he's back in court. If he is found guilty of the charges, he could face years in jail. Thanks so much, Laurie. Laurie Graham tonight.